Master Ken here with another secret street fighting tip. Now, for anyone who watched the news yesterday, NASA announced that there is liquid water on the surface of Mars. You know what that means? Aliens. A lot of you are very excited about this. Most of you don't care because it doesn't involve a Kardashian. But I've been saying for years that this day would come where we were going to have to incorporate how to fight another species from another planet into our self-defense curriculum. Now, whether we're out there colonizing Mars or bringing Martians back to Earth, it's going to be necessary for us to learn how to fight, and many of these aliens are not going to be familiar with our laws, which is why today I'm going to teach you how to fight an illegal alien. The, the hey, man. How you doing? Hey. Bye. What are you guys doing? Or shooting a, uh, just making a video. Just making a... Nice. Yeah. I uh, heard there was a, a costume party close by. Yeah, next so door. It's actually at the, uh, not here, it's at the CrossFit. You guys want to come? I heard there's like really good food. Yeah, yeah, I saw him bringing a bunch of uh, Tocotitos. Cool, all right. What are you, uh, what are you, why are you, what are you dressed up as? What do I look like? Come on, uh, I put a lot of work into it. Yeah, no, you look like a, uh, uh, like a- Dude, dirt, uh, I'm a Peruvian that's carrying a Minotaur. Right? Piñata. Right. What so, do you, how do you say Minotaur in Spanish? Minotaur. All right, now let's say you're out walking around in your cow field at night, looking up at the stars or collecting cow patties, whatever people do out in the country, when all of a sudden you hear a strange noise. Look, an alien. Now, there's a few things we need to keep into account about the advantages uh, that the alien has over us homo sapiens. <coughs> uh, one of them is that they tend to arrive in, a, in beaming and uh, with smoke. Uh, their ships create a lot of exhaust, so you have to just deal with that. Secondly, their technology is gonna be very advanced, their fighting technology. Uh, and thirdly, you can see they have oversized brains, so they most likely are going to try to use telepathy to anticipate your next move. That's why whenever I go out for a walk, just bring some good old fashioned tin foil. This is a good way for you to block their ability to read your thoughts. You just wrap it around the old noggin, they won't be able to, uh, to anticipate a thing. Okay, good. Now that he can't read my thoughts, we're gonna go ahead and deal with that advanced technology, okay? If he sticks that weapon out, okay, I'm gonna grab those elongated fingers, break them. Make sure you grab the weapon by all six barrels and don't press any buttons here. For all you know, this could send a laser beam up your nose, okay? But just go ahead and pull the weapon out. Get rid of it. You don't know how to use it anyway. Aliens are very big on probing, okay? We know this from people who have been captured before. Very big on probing with those long fingers, okay? Most likely, he's going to be trying to probe my anal cavity, so I'm going to block with a downward block. Now notice, when I go to our go-to move in Ameridote, which is a standard between the legs groin attack. Notice, he doesn't react. That's because if you study aliens, you know that their groins are in their armpits. So, those are a couple quick tips on how to fight an illegal alien. Make sure you keep an eye out for them as we continue to explore Mars. I'm Master Ken. Attention. Salute. Yes. Blah. Oh. Must be from Uranus. <laughs>